Hello, I'm Dimitri from New Life Scientific, and today I am showing you a XL70 here. Not exactly the machine, but more or less the process of going through and setting up and installing it. We've got the machine here, we've got the vacuum pump, we've got obviously the power cord right back there, and then we do have a couple items here inside the machine. First things first, we're going to go through and pull out the items in the machine. And that's the power cord for the vacuum pump right here. We are going to go through and put the cord on the vacuum pump. Which connects up right here. And then the other end of the connection is going to go onto the back of the machine. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to pull off the caps on both the hose end here and on the vacuum pump, there is a cap on there also. Make sure to pull the seal out of the, out of the cap. It likes getting stuck in there. And place that seal right on top of the inlet of the vacuum pump. From there, we're going to go through, put the hose down on top of it, put the connection on there for the clamp, and then we're going to tighten up the clamp. From here, this side of the vacuum pump is done, and we are going to go through and connect up the machine up to the wall outlet. From there, what we can do is reach around the machine and flip the, flip the power button. Some of these machines did have a condenser drain that sat right here. This machine does not come with one at all. So we're not going to worry about that today at all. The machine does have the four vacuum valves right here that we are going to want to make sure that they are in the off position for later when we go through and test the vacuum. And from there, all we have to do is to test the system. Since everything else is hooked up, is hit the condenser button. And from there, that's going to start the condenser. Now that we're back from getting it down to temperature, uh, you're going to notice that the machine didn't get quite down. It's a degree off. That's pretty normal with machines. Sometimes they can go through and be a degree or two off, if not more, while it's not underneath vacuum. That is perfectly normal on these machines. Now that we've got everything there, we're going to double check, make sure the valves are still all off and make sure that the connections on the pump itself are still good and make sure that the vacuum pump is in the on position on the switch. Some vacuum pumps have switches, some of them don't. Just go through, double check them. And from there, we can go through and start the vacuum. With the vacuum pump starting up, you're going to notice for the first couple seconds, it's going to be noisy. That is perfectly normal. After it gets done being noisy, just keep on listening. If, it's, if it keeps on continuing being noisy, you've got an issue either with the pump or you might have an air leak somewhere. Just keep an eye on that and go through and watch the, watch the vacuum reading up top also. The vacuum reading should continually drop down. From there, we should be able to go through and watch as it drops down to specification, which should be underneath 
25 mil tour on these vacuum systems. All right, now the machine is down to specification for the vacuum. It is right around 17, 17-ish mil tour. It can fluctuate a little bit, especially down at the lower vacuums. And something else that you're gonna notice is the temperature also dropped also a couple more degrees. Like I said, it's gonna drop with vacuum also. Now with this machine, we do have a couple other options like stop ring and also the, we do have the freezable shelves on this machine. Um, there is a couple of different options. Um, the freezing shelf you should see get down to negative 60. And then with the stop ring, when you've got air hooked up to it, because this is a air driven unit, you should see the top plate up here go up and down with, with the control valve over here. Again, these are a couple different options. Um, mainly for the other specifications, you should go through and check with the manufacturer specs to see. Obviously, this is a negative 70 unit. Um, there's a couple different models, including a negative, negative 105, negative 86, and they even make a negative 55 unit. Just for in terms of specifications for the machine, just go through, check with the manufacturer's spec, and base it off of there. Thank you.